Hey there, Mercedes here from prettywebs.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a dripping text effect inside of Photoshop. Later on in the video, I'll show you how to modify this text effect to create this dripping candle text effect as well. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. All right, we're starting here in this new document. Our new document size is 2000 pixels wide by 1200 pixels. This is a 72 PPI document. I'm gonna go ahead and unlock the background layer. And I have a couple of colors here that I'm gonna use. You can use any color. If you're following along with me, my foreground color is B00056. And my background color is going to be 701E94. Come over to the gradient tool. And I'm going to use this uh, first one. This is a linear gradient. And I'm using the foreground background gradient. This is a default gradient inside of Photoshop. Once we have that, we're going to get this little cross cursor and you can just click just outside of the canvas and then drag it over. Set up our text layer. So we're gonna come over to the text tool here and I'm just gonna type out the word drip. This can be any word that you want. And I'm gonna make this much bigger. So somewhere about there. Let's come in and look at the uh, text. So we're gonna make this 685 pixels and we're going to leave our spacing at 25. I'm going to change the text color to E3B85A. So that's going to give us this yellow color here. I'm going to go ahead and rename this base and I'm going to double click over here on the far right side to bring up my layer styles and we're going to start working with our layer styles. The very first thing that we're going to do is add a bevel and emboss. For the bevel and emboss, we're going to use a style of inner bevel. Technique is smooth. Depth is 396. The direction is up. Our size is 49. Our, we're not softening it at all, so that'll be zero pixels. And then our shading, leave our angle at 134. And our altitude is going to be 65. For the gloss contour, we're using rounded steps. So we're going to find rounded steps. Now you may not have all of these, but if you come over to the little gear icon, so if you're here at the drop down menu and you come over to this little gear icon here, you can click here on contours. We're just going to go ahead and append and it's going to give us um, all of the additional ones that we have here. So we're using the rounded steps and then for the highlight mode we're going to do color dodge. And we're using color B8AE80 for this first color. Click OK. Now for the shadow mode, we're using color burn. And that color is going to be 91885D. You should have something that looks like this at this point. From here, we're going to click on contour. Click on that and then just adjust it up to about 53%. And now we'll move on to inner shadow. Okay, the settings for inner shadow are uh, the blend mode is going to be normal. The color here is going to be BC9025. Our opacity is 82%. We're going to uncheck global light and make this 120 degrees for the angle. Our distance is 6. Choke is zero, size is 24, and everything else is fine. Now we'll move on to inner glow. So go ahead and check that off. Okay, the settings for inner glow are going to be blend mode overlay. Our opacity is 75%. Our noise is zero. The color for this is going to be EFE2A6. Okay, so that's going to be our glow color. Uh, for the elements, our technique is going to be softer. Our source is 
is a center. Our choke is going to be 31% and our size is going to be 43 pixels. Our contour is going to be the cone inverted. So we'll just kind of come through here. And uh, that's this one right here, cone inverted. One more thing um, I forgot to mention earlier because I have these set up where you can actually see the name of the contour. Uh, if you come over here and you, you know, come to this section right here, you can choose how you want to view this. So if you want to see the actual name, uh, you can either choose small list or large list to give you this type of view just in case you don't have it. So anyhow, we're going to use this one, cone inverted, and our range stays at 50%, jitter zero, so that's all okay. Now we're going to choose satin. Our settings for the satin layer style are going to be blend mode multiply. We're going to change our color here to 795C02. Okay, our opacity is 75%, our angle is 90 degrees, distance is 15 pixels, size is 35 pixels, and we're going to be using the ring double contour. So let's uh, just scroll down to this one right here. This is what it looks like. Now let's come back down to drop shadow. The settings for the drop shadow are going to be blend mode multiply. The color is going to be 543607. Our opacity is 66%. Our angle is 90 degrees. Uncheck global light. Our distance is 9 pixels. Spread is 0. And our size is 35 pixels. We're going to be using just this normal linear contour. And that's it. We've got our base done. You should have something that looks like this. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and duplicate this. We're going to right click and duplicate layer. We're going to call this drip. Okay, so this is the layer that we're working with now. We're going to go ahead and double click inside the effects and make some changes to these effects. The first thing we're going to look at is the bevel and emboss. The settings for this are going to be inner bevel, smooth, our depth is 100%, our size is going to be 18, soften 1 pixel, our angle is going to be 120 degrees, our altitude will be 30, and we're going to be using a linear contour for this. Our highlight is going to be screen and we're just using a basic white FFF FFF for the highlight mode. The opacity is 75%. The shadow mode is multiply and the color for the shadow mode is going to be A976. 1D. Our opacity for that is going to be 50%. We're going to choose contour and that's going to stay at 53%. Now we'll go over to the inner shadow. Okay, for our inner shadow, our blend mode is going to be normal. The color for this is going to be 825C06. Our opacity is 75%. Our angle is 120 degrees. Distance is 19. And our size is going to be 65. Choke is 0. Our contour is going to be a ring triple. So we're going to come down uh, right. Gonna actually be past all of this stuff. Um, and we're gonna choose this one, ring triple. Our noise is gonna be 0% and now we'll move on to inner glow. All right, inside of inner glow, our blend mode is overlay, opacity 75%, noise zero. The color here for the glow is gonna be FBB 
A, 0, B. For elements, our technique is going to be softer. Source is center. Choke is 31. Size is 43. And our contour is going to be rolling slopes ascending. Scroll down and choose this one, rolling slope ascending. Our range is 50, jitter 0, and we're going to move on to satin. All right, settings for satin are going to be blend mode multiply. The color we're using here is B08, D23, opacity 75%, angle 90%, distance 15, size 35, and our contour is going to be a custom high gloss. This is something that I created myself, but I'm going to show you what it looks like just in case you want to create it on your own. Uh, our first input is 49%, output 0. On the second one, we've got input 81, output 17%. Third, we have 90, input 92%, output 53%. On the fourth one, input 95%, output 85%. And the very last one, we've got input and output of 100%. So just in case you want to create this on your own, you can go ahead and do that. I'm going to cancel. So this one um, is called the Custom High Gloss. And now we're moving on to the Gradient. Settings for the gradient overlay are blend mode normal, opacity 100%, our style is linear, angle is 90 degrees, and our scale is 100%. Okay, if you click here on this gradient, that will bring up the gradient editor. And I'm going to be using one of the gold gradients I have available for free. I have a pack of uh, gradients available on my website at prettywebs.com, but I'm going to leave a link down at the bottom so that you can grab these as well if you want them. Once you download it, all you have to do is come back in this same area, the gradient editor, and then choose load and then navigate to where you've saved the file and it'll load it right in there. So you'll have those available. The one that we're using for this is this one right here. It's called Gold 12. And these are the settings. So we're using this color here. This is A6915C. The second one is going to be at location 18%. And the color is going to be D0B262. The third one, location 36, F7, F4, D4. The next one is location 49%, D5, B, F7, 9. Location 85, F7, F4, D4. And then our location 99, we have F. I'm sorry, B79545. So if you want to make this on your own without having to, to download all of this, uh, those are the settings for you. The location here was uh, zero for that first one, by the way. So we're going to click on OK. OK, next we're going to work on Drop Shadow. And the settings here are going to be Blend Mode Multiply. Our color is going to be 5436. 07. Opacity is 45%. Our distance is 5. Our size is 6. Uh, spread is 0 and then everything else will stay the same. We'll click OK. Now with the drip layer selected, we're going to come down to the bottom of the layers panel and select the mask icon to add a mask to that layer. We're going to come into the brushes and choose a hard round brush. Make sure that you you have the mask selected, so not the text layer here, you have the, the mask. And your colors right here are black and white. 
We're gonna press the letter X to get the black, because remember, black hides and white reveals. So we wanna hide some of this. And I'm gonna make this brush really big. Now I'm gonna come down here and take off the whole lower half of this. So I'm just, just kind of coming in and making a straight line across. It's gonna reveal our base. And I'm gonna take it up pretty high. Okay, now I'm gonna lower the size of the brush and kind of, you know, base it on the size here of the lettering. And then I'm gonna press the letter X to get that white on the top. So this is gonna reveal. So we're gonna start dragging this down just to make it look like a drip. And we'll just go ahead and do this with um, the entire thing. And you can change the size of the drip also just by changing the size of the brush. So I just brought the brush size down to 45 pixels and I can bring it down lower. Um, I can, you know, make it a lot bigger like that. Bring it back up in size. So I'm gonna bring this one up pretty big and then drop this down like that. You should get something that looks like this, kind of like a melted candle, melted butter. Okay, so I'm gonna come back up to the drip and I'm gonna take it off of the top as well. So we're gonna click on X, make sure that we're on black and I'm gonna make this brush really big and just kind of drop it down. And what that's gonna do is reveal uh, the base layer. So we don't really, we don't wanna do that. So we're gonna come back to the base and we're gonna add a mask to the base. Make sure you have that mask selected and you are on the base layer. And then we're just gonna bring that down so we can hide that. Because we don't want that to show. And then you can come back and smooth out some of these peaks. Add just a basic shape. Go ahead and use this and add this here. Let's change this color to white. And then I'm gonna add a pattern overlay to it. And the candle wick we put behind everything. Command transform, and I'm gonna use this warp tool here just to move it around a little bit. And we're using that, that this color, 4A3403. Opacity 75%, distance 19, size 65 pixels, and then the triple ring. And that's gonna give us something that looks kind of like a candle wick. The settings for our glow are gonna be blend mode lighten, opacity 66%, noise zero. The color we're using is FBD68E. Under elements, we're using a technique of softer, spread 28%, size 70 pixels. We're using the half round, that's gonna be this one right here, half round. Contour, our range is gonna be 65% jitter zero. So that's gonna be for this candle wick. So we'll click okay. And now I'm just gonna grab that wick. I'm gonna press the option key and I'm just gonna copy it over to each one of these so we can have a whole set of candles. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel and visit prettywebs.com for more design resources for your blog and business. Until next time, thanks for watching.